<laughs> so guys, we are moving. As the landscape changes around us, take a look to your left. You will see the Himalayan tar. A species of mountain goat, well adapted to life and height. The sure-footed tar has special hooves that allow it to move through rocky terrain of the mountain. Compare its thick curved horns with the sweeping horns of the animal to your right. This is the Bara, also known as the Himalayan blue sheep, a favorite prey I of the it. snow leopard. The blue tint on the barrel's coat makes it almost invisible against the background of blue-grey rock typically found in its habitat. Moving on to the rocky outcrop to the right, we have the Mako, king of all mountain goats. Adult male Makos have impressive spiral ship horns. Marcos are endangered due to relentless poaching for the ornamental value of their horns. It is the demand for animal parts like these that pushes many species toward extinction. Remember, you buy, they die. We leave the foothills behind and wade through the marsh. You can't miss our striking greater flamingos. Flamingos feed without ever looking at the food. With their head upside down, they take in mouthfuls of water and strain tiny organisms from the water using their specialized beaks. Take a deep breath, everyone. Got a whiff of that? <laughs> that musky scent is the unmistakable smell of our Asian small clawed otters. They sent mark their territory to keep unfamiliar otters away. Otters are highly social animals that communicate with a range of calls. They do everything from playing to hunting as a group. Yeah. These agile creatures are built to hunt in murky water with their streamlined body, nimble paws, and sensitive whiskers. As we move into the clearing, look around. These are the Bara Singha, also known as Swamp Deer. In Hindi, Bara means 12 and Singha means horned. Bara Singha refers to the multiple points on the male's antlers. The antlers are formidable weapons used to fend off rival stags during the mating season. After each mating season, the antlers are shed. You might also notice some spotted deer. These are the axis deer, or cheetah. When the lamb, they produce a loud barking call. Predators and their prey interact in unique ways within an ecosystem. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears wide open. For many animals living in the dark do make sounds to communicate with one another. True enough, can you hear that? That is the sound of the striped hyena, the only hyena species found in Asia. These highly elusive animals have very powerful jaws that can crack open bones. Their big ears and extremely keen sense of hearing allow them to zero in on an ongoing kill happening kilometers away. 
Their hind legs are shorter than their front legs, giving them a strange gait. But this helps them run long distances. After large predators such as lions are finished with their meals, hyenas come in opportunistically to feed on the scraps. Scavengers, like hyenas, play a vital role in the ecosystem by keeping the environment clean. Now, when you have hyenas, it's very likely that you'll see lions close by. To the right, these are Asiatic lions. Unlike their African cousins, Asian lions do not form very large prides. A pride of Asiatic lions typically comprises one or two males, two to three females and several young. Lions rely heavily on tactical hunting approaches for they lack the speed of cheetahs and the stealth of leopards. Lions have to work as a team to bring down larger prey such as buffaloes. Asiatic lions used to be found across India and the Middle East, but the natural habitat is disappearing. Now they are restricted to a very tiny area of India in the northwestern part of the country in Gujarat. The few that remain in the wild today are found in a wildlife preserve in the Gir Forest Sanctuary. They currently exist in the wild only as a small single population. A single event like a large forest fire could cause them to be extinct. Here at Night Safari, we are proud to have successfully bred our lions as part of a global effort to sustain the population of these species under human care. Forests of South Asia and the Indian subcontinent, the sloth bear is not related to the sloth. Europeans call it a sloth bear because it has long curved claws and sometimes hangs upside down on a tree branch, very much like a tree sloth. Next, the second largest land animal in Asia, the greater one-horned rhinoceros. Also known as the Indian rhino, it can weigh over three tons. Observe the bumpy texture of the animal's skin and its distinct folds, giving it a segmented armor-plated look. While it may look tough, rhino skin is, in fact, very sensitive. Rhinos do not sweat, like you and I, which is why they are often found near water bodies. Wallowing in the mud helps them keep cool. With only 200 individuals left in the wild at the start of the 20th century, Indian rhinos were close to extinction. Now, the population stands at 3,500. Rhinos have poor eyesight. They rely mostly on their sense of smell to navigate and communicate. Feces and urine are used to mark their territory. Sniff the air. You might catch a whiff of this or the scent of other creatures of the night. Keep your eyes peeled. Denizens of the nocturnal world magically melt away in the background as if under a cloak of invisibility. Over to your right, everyone. Try spotting the spotted hyenas. 
Predators like these will always remain concealed until the right moment. Spotted hyenas are not just scavengers, but formidable hunters too. They produce a variety of calls that communicate hierarchy, advertise territory, or to gather the family. These social animals form groups called clans. Okay, move. Over to our left, we have three deer species grazing in the shadows. They are thumbing, the hawk deer, and barking deer. Males spot antlers which are used to spar with other males for mates. They shed the antlers after each mating season. If you peer down the left, you will be able to catch sight of the Cape Buffaloes, grazing or taking a cool dip. These massive animals can usually be found near water. Both males and females have heavy, ridged horns that are used for defense against the predators. Males also use their horns to establish dominance in the herd. They have a very nice taste of milk. Yeah. Here on our left, we have our massive Nile hippopotamuses. They spend most of their day submerged in cool water, emerging yeah. at dusk to eat their fill of grass. Their rotund appearance belies their formidable strength. Nile hippos are considered one of the most aggressive animals on earth. They are able to chase down threats quickly and deliver fatal bites with their large teeth. No night safari tour is complete without a walk through the forest on the well-marked, easy-to-follow trails. Other elusive nocturnal animals, such as the Malayan tiger, pangolin, and babirusa, can only be seen on foot. You may want to explore the leopard trail, east lodge trail, wallaby trail, and the fishing camp trail. African lions are much larger when compared to the Asiatic lions. The role of the male is to protect the territory so the females can hunt in peace. After the hunt, the males will have his fill first, followed by the females and lastly the cubs. The lion is the national animal of Singapore. Legend tells of Prince Sangnila Utama, who named this city Singapura or Lion City because he saw a lion when he first landed on the island. There's just one problem with that story. Lions aren't native to Singapore. Maybe the prince saw a strange, unknown animal and assumed it was a lion. What he really saw remains a tantalizing mystery. Here at Mandai Wildlife Group, our mission is to protect wildlife. Oh my God. My God. Look to your right for a pack of red dolls. Also known as Asian wild dogs, red dolls communicate over distances using a series of whistling sounds. When they hunt as a pack, communicating like these allows them to ima, launch ima, a coordinated ima. attack to take down large prey effectively.
Va el top. Eso está de fene, ¿no? Hey. Elephant herds comprise mainly females and their young. When male elephants are of each, they leave the herd to live independently. Male Asian elephants spot tusks that they use for defense, digging, stripping bark from trees to eat and more. Sadly, these tusks also make wild elephants targets for the illegal ivory trade. Besides poaching and habitat loss, Asian elephants in the wild also face the ever-present threat of conflict with humans. The challenge now is to protect these dwindling ah! populations. We support conservationists kind of at the forefront of various efforts across Southeast Asia. As we move up the bend, look ahead and you might be able to spot the king of night safari, Chawang. Chawang was rescued as an orphan near the Chawang River, which inspired his name. One look at Chawang and the first things you notice are his impressive tusks. 